You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Versus! You were challenged by Passerby Boy. That's their attempt to make it so that you don't actually name him question mark, question mark, question mark, because I... I think I've said this before, I did that. My first playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. I thought that was his name. So I called him it, because I'm an idiot at that time. And, uh... I'll be honest, I really would have liked Totodile. Because not only can Totodile get the bolt, uh, Ice Beam, um, and I think Totodile's got enough power that he could probably take on a Dragon Knight with that. Um, but more importantly, that means that we'd have to do less HM power party members, because Totodile can learn, oh my god, you suck. Leer, 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 leer. AI! <laughs> level 8! Alright, Volkner's Pidgeotto is level 13, so I ideally want to be nearby level 12 when I battle him. With my party. Don't you do you want to know who I am? I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Give that back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name. I have no clue what I'm gonna name him yet. So I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone across these routes is supposed to give you a berry, but I can't be... Uh, I don't really want to uh, uh, keep searching for the berry right now. Alrighty, let's head into there. I meet one of the most uh, stupidest police men I've ever seen. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. So am I. So you must be the one who did it. Surely Professor Elm will have told him that he stole a Totodile. <laughs> Hold on a sec, he had nothing to do with it. I saw it, it was a red-haired boy We're looking into the building. What? You bowed a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? What's a good name for the rival? Oh, you know what? I'll just move the D, actually, come to think of it. <laughs> Imagination! <laughs> I see, so Evolved was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. Devolve, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? <laughs> it's not that it's not really that important in the face of a crime now, is it? I like how he's so nonchalant about it being an egg in the remix. Because uh, it's not a new thing anymore. Oh, he has a lot of confidence in us if he goes, Oh, not. <laughs> I want to heal my Pokemon. Alright, let's go. We're not going to talk to our mum. Because I want to show one of the... I want to see... I want to... Uh, let us show that the game has thought of that if you don't speak to your mom. Right? There you are! Prepare for a tutorial! <laughs> See, I, uh, in the original gold, silver, and crystal, you could skip the catching tutorial. It sort of bugs me that you can't in the remake. 
fact, they technically go through the tutorial twice. Rarita. Right. Do you know something else I would like? If the tutorial had the, the hand icon there, yeah, and it showed you what you were supposed to pick, but if you manually picked it, it would immediately do it. That would be a nice way to speed through this thing for people who have already played this game. Who have already played a Pokemon game. Which, at this point, would be everyone. Pretty much. I don't see a single person starting with Heart Gold. Because it's a remake, for one. But number two, Diamond and Pearl basically got a lot of people into the thing, and I'm pretty sure Platinum came out before this as well. See? Just like that. It's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. Pokeballs, Everlock rules are now in effect. So our first encounter on this route is going to be... A Pidgey! I'm happy with that! Level 2, I'm not too happy with that. I'm actually kind of worried. <laughs> Don't kill. Okay. That does mean that I can't hit it again, though. Um... Uh... How much do I bet this Pidgey breaks out? Nope, okay. Right, so we have a Pidgey. So, uh, what should I call Pidgey? The tiny bird Pokemon. It usually hides into- Oh, duh! Because it dislikes fighting, it protects itself by kicking up sand. Give a nickname to the cop Pidgey. Uh, tiny bird hides in tall grass. And kicks up sand. Dislikes fighting. Why not? I was very tempted to go and call it Sandstream. Because that kicks up sand as well. But hey, Sandfoot. Right, kicks up sand. You are a brave nature. You have tangled feet. That actually could be very useful. Right, we're not leveling you up right now, obviously, though. Alright. I am not going to the route above here. Because my intention with that route is to see if I can get a Geodude, and I'd like to have a bit bigger a party before I go there. Because I'm not confident that Cyndaquil will be able to handle that nicely. So I'm going to see what I can capture on the next route first, then I'm coming back there. I mean, that's fair enough, right? <laughs> to be honest, I should be training Pidgey right now. Sandfoot and Backlight. Right, let's put Pidgey out at the front. I'm not going to heal it. it. Actually, doesn't look that bad in the grass. <laughs> Alright, there's Sand Trip. Nothing at this stage of the game is going to have pursuit, so... I'll be honest, I've just realised, I don't think I've ever had a Pidgey in Heart Gold. Because I don't think I've ever actually looked at the back spike for Pidgey. Cyndaquil's looks really familiar, but... Pidgey's looks kind of alien to me, I don't think I've actually had a proper look at Pidgey's. P 
people underestimate that move. Foresight means that you can hit a uh, ghost type with normal and fighting type attacks. Everyone knows that. What a lot of people don't know is that foresight means that your next move ignores evasion checks. So it's a pseudo lock on. Wow, you got nothing from that fight. I mean, I know it's a centric, but. I might just run from this fight with that in mind. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Alright. I'm not gonna bother grabbing the apricorns. Alright, heal up and then I'll go and get my next encounter. And with three Pokemon in my team, I think I might raise them a bit and then I'll come back and try and get Geodude. Although I could get Geodude in the Dark Cave as well. Yeah, I might just keep going actually, keep that route for later. Wait, there's no point in that, I'm pretty sure that's the only patch of grass on that route. Our encounter is... Species Claws. It is another Pidgey though. Alright, we have the same speed. Alright, I see how much you get from Pidgey. You get next to nothing from just a Pidgey. This is going to be a pain to raise, isn't it? Another Pidgey! Healing was pointless. <sighs> right. This is going to take a bit of a while. I'm not going to be grinding, per se, on the screen, I would say. But there we go, my encounter's a carpy. And I didn't think I'd see the day where I had to switch Pidgey out of a carpy. <laughs> Uh, let's think about this properly. For, uh, let's think about this in a serious way for a moment. Strange shot might be handy. If I can get back, like to set up smoke screens on the Pidgeotto. Well, oh, but it might have keen eye. And knowing the gym leader sort of sets, it will have keen eye. All right, we're capturing this Carapy. Why am I going to call Carpy? Pokeball! Yeah. Butterfree is one of my favourite Pokemon. Not Butter? Not Butter could work actually, yeah. If I do use this fight and it's still on my team, come down the line, its main move is going to be Bug Bite. Not Butter. <laughs> so that means I have... Pokemon. I think I might grind a little bit. I want to get them up to level 6. So, um, I don't know if I'll make you go through that, okay?
If I do, I'm going to be speeding up the footage. But I'm going to be raising those things up to level 6 now, okay? And then I'll start taking on the next sort of route. Caterpie might be odd because I have to stop evolving it. I'm trying to think about when I would stop recording because I know Geodude can carry uh, Everstone and I intend to grind Everstones out of it eventually. Five of them. I can get one from the Togepi Egg. So... Let's keep that some thought. Let's keep that some thought. But yeah, I'm going to grind these Pokemon. I'll go for the. I'll go for my encounter on the other route. I'll go for my encounter on the other route. I'd really just like to see this Pidgey actually level up. Right, Sentra. Yeah, I already know you're going to get out around. How fast is not butter? I didn't actually look at not butter. It's not too slow, you might be able to run. Right. So Geodude. Geodude won't know a rock move. So I've at least got that going for me. Alright, Route 46. There is no point in that. Well, Sentry, I think, is the other encounter here. So yeah, there is no point in having Pidgey at the front. So I'm just intending to capture Geodude. Or whatever it is that this is. What is it? What is it? Geodude! <sighs> there we go. I have Volkner under check now. I'm pretty sure of that. Jesus! That's that gentle nature. I have potions. And this is this is a this is essentially something that's going to be very useful against the first three gym leaders. Hell, Geodude's not really that bad defensively, ultimately. It's just his evolutions are a little bit better. And when defensively I mean with its actual stats. So Geodude potentially could be an endgame member. Although by that point I'd expect to have caught a Graveler or something. So we're catching a Geodude and I'm leveling up my team to level 6 at this point, okay? I might not even need to use a potion, come to think of it. Right. He's already gone one crit. I'll try a Pokeball. I need to buy more Pokeballs. Right, there we go. We have Geodude. Now, what should I call it? Rockhead. Most people may not notice, but a closer look we should reveal that there are many Geodudes around. He's a rock and he's a ground type. He's a rock Pokemon. If he's got sturdy, then he's useless. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Rock type, ground type, two arms, floating.
It's not actually floating, so... Grounded. Let's have a look at Grounded. Because like I said, I'm about to grind to level 6. Quiet nature. It's got rock head, though! I can't think of a movie he learns, though. Like, does he learn double edge by level up? I can't remember. Right, so this is what my team looks like right now. We have Backlight the Cinderquill. Uh, we have Sandfoot the Pidgey. That's not actually that bad of nature, thinking about it. We have Not Butter the Carpy. And we have Grounded the Geodude. Right, so I'm going to be grinding them up all to level 6. Grounded didn't have an item, did he? No. So I don't have an Everstone for Caterpie yet. <sighs> but I'm going to start grinding all of them to level 6. Or should I? Well, I know that Geodude might need a bit of grinding. Because Geodude is going to be next to useless within Sprout Tower. With all of the bell sprouts and stuff going around. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Of course I'd like to rest my Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Please come back anytime. Right. I'm going to grind them all up to level 7, actually. I'm going to go for level 7. Because I'm an over-paranoid shit. <laughs> right. So, uh... I'm pretty sure Grounded can take on a few, a few of these things on his own, so... And if it's a Metapod that comes up, that's really handy. Right. So, I will see you next time... I will see you with the next part, I assume. Uh, where we will have a full team... With uh, where we will have three more, uh, with those three Pokemon trained up a fair bit to catch up to Cyndaquil. All right, I will see you then.